Our story today is called Obey the Law, and it's by Albert Carangelo, and it's illustrated by John Nez. Before we get started, let's think about who makes the rules and enforces the rules at home. Now, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, right? They make the rules and they enforce the rules. Enforce means they make sure that you follow the rule. And if you don't follow the rule, they might have to give you a consequence, right? What about at school? Who makes and enforces the, the rules at school? Well, the teachers, the principals, right? The, all the adults. Um, and then let's think about communities. For any given community, people get together and they make the rules or the laws that we have to follow. And these rules are meant to help people get along and to work together better and to make things fair. And what happens when someone doesn't follow the rule? Well, they get in trouble, right? And there are several community workers that make sure that people follow the rules and try to keep the rules fair. The genre that we're going to talk about today is an informational text. Obey the Law is an informational text. It's about real people, places, animals, events. Um, it contains facts that can be checked. And the question that I want you to think about is, why do communities have rules? Now, your community is Lima, all right? You probably belong to smaller communities, like your neighborhood is a community, your school is even a community, Lima is a community. So why do communities have rules? We are going to be using the comprehension strategies clarifying, and that makes that means that if there's something that we don't understand, there's something that's confusing to us, we have to go back and clarify the meaning of an unknown word or any information that maybe doesn't make sense at first. We're also going to be using the summarizing. And remember, the summarizing helps you keep track of what you're reading and focus your mind on the important parts, the key details. Um, and it also will help you with any close any gaps that you may have in your understanding because you may have to go back and reread something to make sure that you understand it. So let's go ahead and start to read Obey the Law. And notice that there is an exclamation point in the title, right? To say it with a lot of feeling, Obey the Law. Students learn about the world around them. Sometimes teachers invite visitors to their classrooms. The visitors are people who tell about their jobs. The students learn by listening to the visitors. A police officer visits a class to tell about her job and to tell about laws. Police officers work to keep the community safe. All right, so after reading this part, are there any words or ideas that we may need to clarify? Maybe how do the police officers keep the community safe or what is a law, right? So laws are basically just rules, right? Rules that help keep us stay safe. And the laws are written in the community um, and the police officer makes sure that people follow the laws so that they are safe. Laws are rules made for the whole community. When people break laws, they can get hurt. Others can get hurt too. A driver who ignores a stop sign can cause an accident. Police officers look out for people who break laws. A judge visits a class to tell about his job. Judges also work to keep the community safe. When police officers find people who break laws, the officers bring the lawbreakers to court. At court, the judge listens. Okay, this is a good place to stop and summarize the main topic and the key details for this section. What class visitors can tell about the rules in the community? Well, so far, the police officer and the judge. What key details did we learn about police officers? Well, they keep the community safe. They look out for people who don't follow the rules, and they bring the people who break the rules to court. And then on page 27, what's the main topic? The judge, right? A judge telling about his job. What key details did we learn about the judge? He listens to people who police officers catch breaking the law, and he tries to keep the community safe. At court, people tell whether or not they broke the law. Another person, a lawyer, helps them tell their story. The lawyer stands beside them to help explain the law. Another group of people called a jury listens to the story. 
The jury decides whether or not the person broke the law. If the jury decides the law was broken, then the judge must decide what to do. Okay, so this is a lot of information and it could be new information. So it's a good time to stop and clarify about anything that we might find confusing, like what is a jury, all right? Well, a jury is a group of people from the community that help to decide whether a person has broken the law or not. Um, if, the if the jury decides that a person has broken the law, then the judge decides what to do. Police officers, judges, lawyers, and juries all work together. They make up the community system for keeping it safe. They help the members of the community follow the rules. They cannot do it all alone though. They need the help of each person. Adults, students, children, everyone can help by always remembering to obey the laws. Okay, so this is the end of the selection, so it's a good place to summarize. What did we learn on these last two pages? There are a lot of people that work together to make sure that everyone follows the rules of the community, like police officers, judges, lawyers, and juries. And it also says that we can help because everybody can obey the law and that helps that everyone stay safe. So not just the police officers, judges, lawyers, and juries, but everyone by following the law can help a community stay safe. Now, before we go, let's talk about some vocabulary words. There it is. When people break laws, they can get hurt. So let's talk about the word break. Break. To not obey. See him break the rules of mini golf. He should tap his ball into the hole. He should not throw on it. Break. All right. So in this case, break means to not obey. All right. So when people break the laws, when people do not obey the laws, they can get hurt. Now, the next word is right here on the other page. It's the word judge. A judge visits a class to tell about his job. Judge. Judge. A person who makes decisions in court. The judge wears a black robe. He decides the court. Judge. All right. So the judge is the person who makes the decisions in court. Court. He's kind of the boss of the court. He's making the decisions of the court. Or in that case, in the example, it was a she because, of course, a judge can also be a girl. So a person who makes decisions in court. A judge visits a class to tell about his job. A person who makes decisions about the court visits the class to tell about his job. All right. I will be sure to include the um, discussion starters. That way you can talk with your big person more about how laws are made in a community, why they have the laws, and who helps to enforce those laws.